after all the security issues with 3Commerce, so many people have been asking us, guys, what is the best 3Commerce alternative? We did our research, we tried over 30 different bot trading platforms, and Alltrady is definitely the best 3Commerce alternative. Not only because they have a beautiful, very customizable interface, but also because they have very high security standards. Last week, we have been talking to Benoist, the CEO and co-founder of Alltrady, and we actually found out that he has been working for the Dutch government in the security department before he was co-founding Alltrady. If you want to see Benoist in an interview on our channel, definitely write down in the comments any questions you want us to ask him. And now, before I give a tour of a platform, a little side note, for every Tyson subscriber, Alltrade is going to be for free. So this is the Alltrade platform. It's alltrade.com and the prices, if paid with an annual plan, reach from $17 to $55. But if you're a current Tyson subscriber or you still want to subscribe to Tyson, the basic Alltrady subscription is going to be included in that. So it's going to be an even better deal than we had previously with 3Commerce. Once you're logged in to the platform and you go to Trading Terminal, you will find something like this. It's going to look super chaotic, not really good to use it that way, but the layout is highly customizable. So you can create your own layout or you can even import other people's layouts. And we have already created the perfect Tyson layout, which gives you everything you need. You've got all the current open positions. For example, let's look at this one. We entered here with two separate limit orders somehow. And our first target was hit. And it's super nice to look at it. It feels much cleaner, much smoother than on 3Commerce. Everything reacts very fast. And this is how the trading terminal looks like. Let's pull that maybe a little bit bigger just for now. Pretty advanced. You got all your order types here, market orders, limit orders, and even letter orders, which is basically like iceberg orders. But you won't need all of that because the template for Tyson is gonna take care of all of that. I'm gonna show it to you later. And here on the right-hand side, you get some more information about your trade like when did it start, when uh, did it get opened, and what's your current PNL. If you want to use our layout, you can just contact us on Discord and we're gonna send you the JSON there and it's very easy to import. Now you see I fucked up the layout and let me actually re-import that. Just pick the JSON file from your computer, import, and boom. You immediately get the exactly same layout like we have. Now let's continue the tour of the platform. So this is just an, a chart explorer, I could say. You can open as many charts as you like, look at them all together, choose the right format here. Everything is super customizable. Same again, import layouts, build a community, exchange layouts, pretty amazing. And you can even have multiple tabs. So if you, on this tab, you want to compare, let's say, Aave, USDT, but on the other one, you still have one sole USDT. Yeah. So this can become a huge collection of layouts. Nice feature. And then there are the bots. The bots are a bit different to three commas. You can imagine them like always being multi-pair bots. And let's look at how you build them. You got a webhook, API key and secret key. And you can use these to send alerts through the webhook from TradingView. If you want a quick tutorial about how to send alerts from TradingView to Alltrady, leave me a little note in the comments. I will now skip to the more interesting parts here, which are very pro compared to 3Commerce. Because on one hand side, we got the entry order expiration. So if the limit order was not filled within seven days, it will be deleted, but we also got an auto close. I don't know any other platform that offer both of these options and this is what we exactly need for Tyson. So if the order was not completely sold after 14 days here, in this example, it will be market sold. And also if the limit order was not filled within seven days, it will be closed. And then it's very easy to create an infinite amount of take profits with any percentage of volume that you might want to use. And also I love it 
how it's graphically shown which part of the volume is being sold or how much of the volume is being sold here. And yeah, that's just a nice little thing to look at. You can also send signals from TradingView to close the trade. And also you can send signals to a market stop loss. So I think that's pretty much everything you need for highly professional algo trading. Next stop, we have the market explorer. And this is just to give you a nice little overview about the current market situation. Nothing fancy and greed index then trading analytics that's a very nice feature also i love the design here it's very accurate and if you go again to the bots and to analytics in here you've got an even more detailed analytics about that particular bot the only downside here is you only have dollar amounts there are no percentages shown but i guess that's okay that's something you can calculate yourself and here you see the profits by day or the losses with very nice signals from Tyson around this area. And yeah, around 12, 13 days later, they usually have their peak and they hit most, most of the targets. That's why there is such a spike in profit taking. I really have no idea what this is, but that metric is quite nice. For each pair, you got some statistics about how many trades have been lost. So how many of them went into the stop loss or how many of them went into at least one target and what's the average PNL on that particular trade or on that particular market. Because sometimes you might have had two trades per pair and then they won't put another time the, the same pair here. They're just going to say two positions have been traded on that particular market pair. Then I don't want to go into much detail here on the portfolio and you can just see all the assets that you're holding on the different accounts and you can connect your accounts here on exchange accounts. You have some educational content here and some more in-depth statistics, but they are about the crypto base scanner. Actually it says here basis detected and that's not really so much of interest. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this quick tour of Alltrady. And as I've said, if you want more details about how to send alerts from TradingView to Alltrady, which I could imagine would be very interesting for a lot of you guys, drop me a line in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next time.